it's Reya and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing the book buying tag because I was recently tagged by Ookbooks and this seemed like an interesting tag so I thought why not let's do it. So without further ado let's just get started. Question number one where do you buy your books from? And I buy my books mostly online from sites such as Book Depository and Adlibris. I do occasionally also buy books from my local bookstore. But to be completely honest, buying them online is just cheaper and more convenient. So I tend to go for the more convenient route. And when it comes to my comics, I tend, tend to also buy them from Amazon or other online, uh, online retailers, except for manga, because I want to support my local manga retailers and also translators. So I tend to buy my manga mostly from conventions, except Japanese editions I obviously order from Japan. Question number two, do you ever pre-order books? And if so, do you do this in store or online? I never pre-order books. I don't really want to support pre-order culture because it's, it's pretty much the same as in games. I don't want to pre-order stuff when I don't know what the product is actually like. So I'm kind of a try before you buy kind of person. So I don't want to end up with a bad product, so that's why I don't do pre-orders. Question number three, on average, how many books do you buy a month? Mm, this depends. Some months I don't buy books at all and some months I splurge a lot. But on average, I think I may buy four to five books a month. That seems uh, quite accurate. Question number four, do you use your local library? And yes, yes, I do. I borrow most books from my library first. In fact, I borrow most books from my library first. I do sometimes get distracted by a nice cover and end up buying it. Or if my library doesn't stock the book in question and I want to read it, then I will purchase it. But my goal is to always read the book before I buy it. So that's why I usually loan them from the library and then read them. And then if the book is good and I want to keep it and I want to reread it or loan it to my friends, I will buy the book. Most of the books you will see on this channel are books that I've borrowed from the library because that's how I roll. If so, how many books do you borrow at a time? That depends on a situation. If it's a question about graphic novels. I may borrow something like six to ten uh, comics at a time. But when it comes to books, I, I don't really want to overwhelm myself because I know that I'm a slow reader. So that's why I know that I can average about one book per week. So I try not to loan more than four books at a time from the library. Question number six. What is your opinion on library books? I think library books are great. They really help battling a kind of class divide because some people just can't afford to buy books. I know that my family couldn't afford to buy books when I was young. And otherwise they just really open you up to new worlds because you can, you can try new genres without risking anything because you can just borrow them. So you can really dive outside of different genres and try something new without having to pay for it. And then if you like it, you can buy it, which is great. And it's also great that you can borrow books in different languages. I, w I wouldn't be able to understand Swedish or German if I didn't borrow books in those languages. So loaning books from the library has helped me learn these languages faster and attain a level of fluency, which is great. So I'm all for supporting local libraries. I think more people should borrow books from the library. Question number seven. How do you feel about charity shop or secondhand books? I have no problem with secondhand books. 
Of course, you have to be careful about the quality so you don't end up um, with a book that has been uh, spoiled on the inside, like someone cutting out pages or anything, so you need to be careful about that. It's a very good way to find editions that are out of print or just older books, and there's a kind of charm to them, I feel. The only problem I have with second, um, second-hand books is when you have um, is when you find a copy and there's annotations in it, because I generally don't want someone else's annotated books, because I want to form my own opinions about the book. I can read annotated versions after I've read the book myself, but on the first go I don't want annotated versions, so that's something that um, kind of bugs me, because I've seen a lot of second-hand books that um, have scribblings and annotations, and it is somewhat annoying to me. But I don't mind second-hand books at all, and I have actually bought quite a few myself. Question number eight. Do you keep your red and TBR pile together, or on the same bookshelf, or not on the same bookshelf? Um, I just keep them together. I don't have... I don't really have a um, separate TBR pile. I know which books I haven't read in my collection. I sometimes put bookmarks in the books that I am planning to read uh, in the near future. But generally speaking, I do keep them together because I hate separating series. It's an, it's an aesthetic thing for me. I want to keep my collection uh, cohesive. Question number nine. Do you plan to read all of the books that you own? Of course, that is the plan. I don't see a point in collecting books that you don't plan on reading, that's just a waste of money. If I notice that there is a book that I have bought and I haven't read it or I haven't touched it in two years or something, then I will put it on top of my priority list. And if, it, if I don't read it even after then, I will sell it or I will otherwise get rid of it or ask someone like my sister or my friends if they want to read it. Because I don't see the point in collecting things that you don't use. What do you do with books that you own that you feel you will never read, felt you did not enjoy? I will get rid of them. I don't want to keep any books that I find no enjoyment in or that I've grown past them. I will just simply get rid of them. The world is filled with books and I want to surround myself with things that I love. Question number 11. Have you ever donated books? Yes, I have. Usually after I unhaul books or when I move and I go through my collection and see if I have something I want to get rid of, I will either donate them to a library, sell them or donate them to the recycling center. So yes, I have donated books previously. Question number 12. Have you ever been on a book buying ban? And this question is kind of a two-parter, because I have not really been on a book buying ban out of my own accord. I do have to say, as a disclaimer, that my partner has sometimes issued me warnings about spending too much money on books or, uh, on certain months, but it's not like he enforces anything. He expects me to be a grown-up adult person who is responsible financially, so of course I have my own responsibility to not go above budget. But as for the question, I don't generally believe in book buying bans because I don't think they work. Because it's kind of like when you go on candy strike and you're like, I'm not eating any more sweets, and then you end up being on a ban for about a week and then splurging all your money on chocolate and gaining five kilograms or whatever. I think that limiting yourself in that capacity makes you buy more, because once you, once you fall off the bandwagon, wagon, you go and treat yourself more. So that's why I generally don't put myself on a ban, but I do have a budget that I follow or I try to follow as closely as I can, because I have limited funds and I want to be a responsible person. And finally, for the last question, question number 13. Do you feel that you buy too many books? 
Um, yes, sometimes. I do feel that whenever I have done a bigger order, I end up kind of questioning myself, was this the right thing to do? Did you really need all these things? That said, you can't take your money to the grave either, so I might as well use it for something you enjoy, as long as you're not like bankrupting yourself. But yeah, sometimes I think that I buy too many books. It comes and goes, because, as I said, in other months I don't buy any books. So there you have it. This has been my take on the book buying tag. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!